Okay, now we're going to look at the guided practice. Remember, these are questions you should not miss. We're doing them together. You shouldn't miss them. Okay. Use the figure to name each of the following. So this is kind of what we ended with on the notes. They give us a picture, and we have to name a bunch of stuff. So the first thing they ask us to do is name five points. So look for five points on your picture. A, B, C, D, and E. Those are our five points. Number two, ask us to name two lines. There's a bunch of different ways you can do this. What I would do is remember, how can we name lines? We can use two points or lowercase cursive letters. So these two right here tell us that these are lines. So we can say just M and L. Now I will say if you're doing this remotely, it, if you only just type in M and L, I'll take that because you can't exactly do cursive if you're doing it remotely. So I'll take that. If you're writing though, I want it in cursive. Come on now. Okay, number three, ask about two planes. How do we name planes? Well, we can use three points that aren't on the same line, or look for cursive capital letters. So F and N, are examples of planes. So try your best to write it kind of like that. F and Looks like they just did something kind of like this. Good enough. F and N. Again, if you're doing it remotely, just type, you can type me a capital F and a capital N, and I'll take it because you can't do cursive. If you're handwriting it, make little curly things like I did. I mean, it's not, it, it, it's not like I'm cutting your arm off. Come on. Okay, four. Ask us to do a point on BD. So if we look for BD, we're going to be says line BD. I can barely see those arrows. 
So line BD, it's the line with B and D on it. What point is on that line? C. Okay. Five, ask us another name for plane in. Now, in the picture, plane in is what color? Blue. So we want points. We want three points in the blue plane. Question for you, though. Can I say plane DCB? Can I say that? No. Why can't I say that? Those three are on the same line. So I'm going to take the C out. If you want to take the D or the B out, you can, but one of them has to be replaced with A. Okay. So six, a ray opposite of CD. So let's see here. Let's figure out where CD is. CD is this one. We want to go the opposite direction, which means we've got to start at C. But to go, to go the opposite direction, we'll go through B. And we'll put our one-sided arrow on top. Now, if, again, if you're doing this remotely, you're probably thinking, how do I do that little one-sided arrow? Don't worry about the arrow. Just say Ray. CB, Ray CB, that'll be the, so I'm going to put in parentheses R, Ray CB. Notice the letters are in the same order, I just, instead of putting the arrow, I put the word Ray. That's two ways you could write it. Okay, seven, three collinear points. Well, there are three points that are on the same line. You probably looked at the picture enough, you're screaming the answer at me like, come on, teacher dude. B, C, D. What about four coplanar points? So they either have to all be in the blue rectangle or in that orange shape. So B, C, and D are going to be in there because they're on both of them. That's where they intersect. Which letter would you rather use, A or E? E? Okay, let's use E. We haven't given E much love today yet, so let's use E. Now it asks us for four non-coplanar points. It's got the non in there, so we don't want them to be on the same plane. Well, the two points that are not on the same plane, period, or A and E. So I'm going to use both of those. 
and then I'll just pick any two from there. I got A, I got E. So I know my answer is going to be right. Just pick your other favorite two. Uh, how about CD? Going to say BC. You could. Okay, and for this picture, the last one is number 10. The intersection of plane F and plane N. So where do they cross? If you're asking me, I'd say this line right here. They cross on this line right here. So what's one thing for that line? You know, we could say just, well, let me change back to my pen and we can say it. We can say L, that's one way. Or you could say line CB. If you want to write CB that way, you could say CB with double arrows if you're handwriting it, just as long as you talk about that line somehow. These are three different ways to name that single line, and there's more. We're not going to name them, but there's more. As long as we're talking about that line, we're good. If you start throwing an A or an E, or you put BCD, that BCD, that's not how you name a line. Two points. Two, that's all you need, just two. Okay, so, Last two questions. We have to say whether the statement is sometimes, always, or never true. If two planes intersect, then they intersect in a straight line. Let's try to draw a rough picture of two planes intersecting. Now keep in mind these would go on forever in all directions, but the key here is how do they cross? They cross at a line. Also, this one come this one actually came directly from your notes. So yeah, it it'll It'll always be true. It's like literally directly from your notes. Look on the back of your notes. Okay, number 12. If two rays share a common endpoint, then they form a line. And the way you have to read these statements is to read them as if they're always saying they always form a line. So if they share an endpoint, they will always form a line. Well, let's see. Let me do this in gray. So that's certainly true if they go like this. Yeah. So it can't be never. We can throw that one out. Can't be never. What about if they do something like this? They start at the same point, but do they make a line? 
No. So we can't say always. Because they don't always do it. So our answer here would be sometimes. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. Okay. So there's day three guided practice. Hopefully you understand enough to complete the assignment. If you don't, please ask me questions. Don't sit there stumped and pulling your hair out. Ask questions. That's what I'm here for. Okay. Talk to y'all later.